Jiang, can you bring the cookies over here, please? Baking is a science. Even slight recipe changes can turn light and fluffy into a hockey puck. So we asked Costas Katsimakis what happened when he took trans fats out of the mix. The cookie mixes, uh, they would just stay flat. Our icings would just stay flat. Most pastries need solid fat to lift them up and create that layered, silky, smooth bite. When saturated fats like butter and lard took a beating over health concerns, trans fats like shortening and margarine took over. Turns out they were even less healthy. That's why we just started going back to butter and making our, our lives as, uh, as easy as possible. So this aisle's already changed. Trans fats have also disappeared from most prepackaged processed foods, making old fats new again. So what's it got in it now? If you take a look at this right now, you can see three and a half grams of saturated fat. Unlike the bakery, nothing here contains butter. Almost everything is loaded with inexpensive palm oil. Palm oil is a highly saturated fat, even though it's a, it's a plant-based fat. But environmentally, palm is highly controversial. It's linked to large-scale deforestation. Still, food makers hope trans fat-free leads to healthier sales. Nutritional scientists see it differently. We're making our junk food a little bit less worse uh, not necessarily a good thing. Notice this liquid oil here. Food chemists can't turn a muffin into a salad, but they're trying to come up with healthier fats. This could be used to solidify any oil. They figured out how to solidify unsaturated fats like olive oil using water. So this is the one that is made only with oil, water, and a natural emulsifier. And this can be used to make cookies, muffins, cakes. But the cost keeps large food manufacturers from biting. Uh, yes, somebody has to take the first step. Butter does make things delicious. It's sustainable, but expensive and calorie heavy. No doubt, another new, perhaps healthier solid fat will come along. What do you think is next? I wish I knew. I, I really, really wish I knew. We'll see in a couple of years. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.